Hey guys, crew of Blind Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. And we're back with Succession. Last time on, Roman had phone sex with Jerry. Yep. Uh, Fascists we... in the building. Yeah, yep. but soon to be out of the building as part of a deal. With... But if you want to get out of the building the quick way, you can't anymore. They put up a wall. Eric, that's not the way out. Yeah. No, that's not. But now there's a wall there, so. I want her to say Bob. Yeah, me too. She has a great voice. Mm -hmm. It's so very distinctive. Very distinct. What the fuck is going on between you and Dad? Did he make you an offer? Oh, the hug. That was so good. Oh. You okay? What did you do? Who did you see? Who did you see? How's the hooker with the heart of gold? <laughs> oh, he was talking to... Hmm. Another room. They're inquiring about your moral character. Oh. Nobody here has any glaring substance abuse issues that almost brought down the company, right? So mean. My worry is that Kendall may come across as too cool and likable. God, that's so funny. It's so mean, but it's so good. An hour late, and make no secret where you've been. Okay. Keep clean this weekend, eh, killer? A killer? Whoa. That could have meant mm. something else. We know what it meant. No, I mean, like, Shit from an outside perspective. Shit, <laughs> shot. <laughs> That's so awkward. I love it. I know you don't like the spy. No, no, I... So he started, started to sour on her once she didn't like what he was doing, right? A little, yeah. Hmm, and Kendall soon. just does what hmm. he wants. And Kendall has no interest in taking over anymore. He's probably just it's gonna keep it as long as he can anyway, right? Well, that's what he was saying to her last episode, is like, make sure there's a place for me, please. Because I'm not gonna get it. I just, I need a spot here. No, I meant Logan is probably just trying oh, to get it. Yeah, Logan's plan was, yeah, no. to like, yeah, I'm gonna, it's gonna be years before you take over. But yeah. Then yeah, I feel like hasn't, he was, hasn't done the training program or anything yet. It, it, yeah, it felt like he was going to fast track that a little bit, and then she disagreed with him about this buy, and now it feels like he's kind of cutting her out now. Feels like he's coasting her. Mm -hmm. Don't talk about it. We're about the brothers' politics and being president. Wow. Honestly, all of them could mess up everything. Oh, yeah. Did that say gender fluid illegals are entering the country? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there was a. Uh, a figure skater that skated to this song in competition. Yeah. And he apparently did like some really crazy moves and stuff and, and won with it. Hell yeah. Good for him. Basically. I think it was like nationals. He died. Or what? No. <laughs> That's what I heard anyway. I'm proud of you, son. Get him back in there. Thank you, Dad. Yeah, but this weekend... He loves to hear he's proud. <laughs> like he's the one that like wants you to think he doesn't care, but he cares so much. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, what was I thinking? I was like, huh, they're driving somewhere. I was literally about to say it. <laughs> Helicopters are so cool. But they're they so are. loud. If we could, like, figure out a way to do that, but they weren't so loud. Blue Thunder. Awesome. We had that in the 90s, Eric. They kick everything up. I like the music here. Smile. I am smiling. Yeah, not like a pervert. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I think we're going to have fun... Getting a look at all of you, won't we? Uh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm gonna be president. That's right, they know each other. Woody Whopper! What the fuck? I don't know, but he hit you. It looked like fun. You didn't say it! I you broke the rule! Woody Whopper. It wasn't on screen! So why did he have to be late? An hour late. And from rehab? Is that what it is? I don't know. There's a plan. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> it is a penis cat. Even penis cats need love. The wallet of Teddy Roosevelt's valet. <laughs> <laughs> Logan looks so unimpressed in that moment. Yeah. He doesn't like to not be prepared. Five years is an I know this man. Yeah, why do I know this guy? I'm actually on the liberty and justice for all end of things, but hey, different strokes. <laughs> Okay. Here comes Ken, spiraling down. <laughs> um, you have an interesting family. 
Yeah, I love how the mics just switch mm -hmm. from shot to shot. I would just like to thank the Pierces for their hospitality. Wow, I like this, Dad. Why couldn't this Dad be dead? Why couldn't this bad Dad be dead? Wow. You know, them, uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. Is that a... Maybe. Is that a pick bid? I feel like the Pierces are cutthroat. We don't know it yet. Yeah, I think they're putting on a fucking act. When you laugh, please do it at the same volume as everyone else. We didn't get you from a hyena farm. <laughs> <laughs> this is the dad that was their dad. The I'm very excited to be getting top marks along with your other pupils. Mm -hmm. They're literally sharpening their knives, Eric. They're playing the Reigns of Castamere. <laughs> yeah. And my life is done. Roman, keep it together, man. I have uh, volunteer at a drug addiction treatment center in Mill Valley. Do you think? Mm. No. I rather enjoyed the Electric Circus. Who's the author? Oh, oh gosh. Jane Bartmuth. That's a good. Oh, okay. Jane Bartmuth thing is pretty good. What's it about? No. Uh, what's the Electric Circus about? Uh -huh. Why are you pushing it? Shiv, no. He is, man, look at him just death staring at her. Well, that's just the sort of expert analysis I'd expect from a deep state womp with both lips firmly glued to the Soros teeth. Well, clear some space on Mount Rushmore, folks. <laughs> yeah. This guy's kind of funny. Oh my gosh. I think you should split him up a little bit more. Yeah. I think you should have been a better dad. <laughs> look what you've done. Shiv's like just pushing in Roman. <laughs> I can take a joke. <laughs> I knew him from. He looks like D. Bradley Baker a bit. Nick Kettleman. Yes. He's the embezzler from Better Call Saul. That's it. We can discuss the white nationalist elephant in the room, can't we? This is Tom's time to get shit on. Mm -hmm. Money is a social construct, whereas virtue, integrity, these things actually exist. This morning I went to the store and I bought a pound of ham and I paid for it by, you know, telling them I was really worried about the environment. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I hope he's the lightning rod. I hope he... <laughs> Would he stay on as the head of news? Ooh, king of edible leaves, his majesty the spinach. <sighs> it's, a, our dog, it's a dog thing. Rondale, it's so silly. Oh, no. Sorry. It's a virus. It's very ill. Oh, at arthritis. The we think it's arthritis. <laughs> He's sick. Arthritis. <laughs> Maybe you could stop beating up on me, too. What? Well, no one cares. Well, technically, I care. I care. Well, sometimes you say stupid things. I want to be sitting at that table. Hey, hey, hey. Go get it. Let's go. What about him? What about him? We're not planning to have a baby because oh. that would require us having sex. Whoa, hey now. No, I don't mean to pry. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that, that look. Mm. White relentless in that regard. Just fuck city. Fuck city. Oh, boy. Oh, the... Nobody can swallow their pride. I think Kendall can win this. She doesn't really like to talk about it. Or you don't like to ask about it. Oh, man. Oh, quit drinking, everybody. Two drink minimum. Mm, this is what they wanted. Look at her face. <laughs> they wanted dirt. Another glass for both of you? Well, yeah. you know, we tend to kind of keep it yes, too. Yes, thank you. Uh, Sandy's not well. Syphilis, if you can yes. it. Uh, what? Where, where is Sandy? Any thought given to, to whom you might hand over the keys? Oh, boy. We're all friends here now, aren't we? Well, uh... Yeah, Logan. Jerry is on the paperwork as a stopgap, but she'd be the first to admit that she couldn't really do the job. Well, maybe the second to admit. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the second to admit. <laughs> well, uh, oh, for fuck's sake, Dad, just tell him it's going to be me. I knew it was coming. I see it coming. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Would you stop? <laughs> oh my gosh. Logan's kind of shit in the bed here a little bit. <laughs> oh, uh, I hate this. Ah, I, oh, I, love the, I love when things can make me feel this way. Challenge me. Still not as bad as the bear. <sighs> <laughs> you finished that glass. Shall we? Mm. 
I came here to fuck any deal, but it seems you all have just fucked it yourselves, so. Would you like to do some illegal drugs with me? Yes, I would. Good. <laughs> I'm not sure how much love there is for me and as sort of, as a sort of independent of you sort of person, you know? Oh, so there could be repercussions. Like what? Out of the family again? I used to be a maniac. It's a different situation for me now. Right. Yeah, you look like you really slowed down. <laughs> I'm getting it together. Yeah, me too. Yeah, that's what you're doing. I had that exact briefcase. Was you did drugs? Was it also filled with cocaine? Calvin! No. Calvin. I huh? gave it to him to use because it was. Yeah. Please, you're coming. Eric, shut up. Yeah, I want to make love. Nope. With me. Wow. <laughs> Do you think there's a way that we can, like, make it kind of, like, wrong? <laughs> wrong? Look, they're Do frolicking. They're just, yeah, I know. I think Kendall's the only one doing his job. It's almost like, <laughs> it's more like they're gonna bang than it is for a winner. No, I think they oh, are. Oh no, they're getting in the chopper. Well, they're not gonna fly. Yeah, I don't know, people high on cocaine, you know, classically make really good decisions. Okay. You know what, maybe they are. <laughs> Wiggle stick, twisty stick, is go. Let's put these on. I think spinny, they're just spinny, chicken pretending. Dinny. <laughs> spinny dinny. Spinny dinny. Spinny chicken dinny. <laughs> Uh, Wait. <laughs> no. Oh, Bort, turn it off. 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 In the helicopter. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, don't. Okay, I wish you didn't do that. No, I just. That's, I'm a person who needs like tabs. You're meant to be dead. Visual stimulation. Get into it. Get into You're meant to be dead. Dead women aren't wet. Um. Right. Okay. Kind of ruining um, the realism. I think maybe the morgue is closing for the night. Okay. <gasps> it's just um. You can take the money, and you can just get the fuck out. That might be the most attractive yeah. thing to all of them. I like the kitty. That damn cat! Don't fuck the cat. I don't know what he's doing. It's a penis cat. It would be wrong. He seems to be into that kind of shit. Okay. Good. He sent it away. Not that pussy! <laughs> <laughs> if he, he's going to Jerry, isn't he? Probably. Hi. Good God. Good so God. Weak. Maybe one day I can be in charge of making the roller coaster go. All right, drink up, because, you know, it's bedtime. Was that roller coaster moving or blowing up? Yeah. Is that why you're here? Mm mm. No, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. No. It's Jesus wicked. Those questions. They would be ashamed of you. And rightly so. Okay, I'm very sorry, Jerry. No, you don't get to speak. You have always been a disappointment. You have gone beyond the pale. I have? Oh, yeah. Get in that bathroom. Now. Jeez. Go on. <laughs> and you will stay in there until you have done something with yourself. <laughs> what if they could see you now? Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Oh god, this episode, this show just, I can't it take it. It does not stop or pause <laughs> or anything. Oh, I'm glad we waited at the end of the day to do it. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have stream tonight. Oh. <sighs> oh, what a night they all had. How do you think Logan was? I don't know, his wife probably slept in the bathroom or something. She did not seem happy with him either. Mm. Is there shit all over that bed? He shit the bed. I was joking about it before. There's shit all over that bed. He shit the bed. Oh my god, this show won't stop! And the whole family shit the bed with this meeting. I know. Does cocaine make you shit the bed? I Aaron, try some cocaine, let us know. Severe inebriation of any kind will make you shit. That's true. I jerked off in Jerry's bathroom last night. He really got the old gal's juices flowing. Even as a joke, that is a stomach turning thought. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they could just play it off, they and it's something that it. Roman would say. Yeah. <laughs> I got tipsy and I offered him the State Department. Good. <laughs> wow. Secretary of State. <laughs> Men would like to meet you, Marsha, Jerry, Shiv, Kendall. After breakfast. Hmm. So not Roman or Khan. I mean. You I wouldn't either. You don't need those two or Tom. 
Tom is just, he's a bust on a pedestal right now. Like, he doesn't do anything. We keep seeing that. The cleaner? The cleaner, the, the cook, the lady. I don't know. I had a conversation this morning with my cousin Naomi, and she believes that a sale is the only way to ensure that Pierce Media can flourish. Hmm. She wants the money and out, doesn't she? I think we're worth more. More than, what was 26 billion? 24? 24 billion. We would like to retain some board seats and get ironclad editorial protections in place. I think that could be hammered out. I won't have that man overseeing our news, I'm sorry. That won't be a problem. We would like you to publicly announce a successor, Siobhan Roy. That's the offer. Well, to be fair, you don't have an offer. Oh, man. You can't put a value on what we do. I have put a value on what you do. 25 billion. Well, then I'm afraid we have no deal. Shiv is the point of contention. Shiv's gonna be mad. Yep. Then we're done. Jesus. Oh, man. He was good with everything else. No Tom, the money, all of it. Announcing Shiv publicly as a successor. What did he do with those poop sheets? Uh, that's probably what the cleaning lady was doing. I would have... Flushed them. I would have packed them. <laughs> <laughs> I would have taken them with me. <laughs> They're in the cocaine briefcase. I... <laughs> I would allow no other person to witness that. <laughs> Man, did we not put sheets on his bed? I guess not. I slept very uncomfortably. <laughs> so funny. This is gonna be an awkward fight. What a weird family. <laughs> oh. Logan's holding his phone. He's waiting for that call. Jesus Christ, Dad. What the hell? What's he waiting for? He's waiting for the call. Yeah, he's calling their bluff, and they're not gonna—that they're gonna take the money. Oh, he's waiting for them to say, yeah. oh, "Okay, oh, yeah." yeah. The, uh, he why would he think call. that's what's gonna happen? Yeah, it's because because that's always happened for him in the past. Twenty-five billion. Yeah, he's smart. That's goddamn fucking right. So are they accepted or what? I hey, would... hey, Greg. Going by Gregory now. But, uh, was it awesome? Or? Uh, yeah, it was eventful. Yeah, it was a shit show. Have a drink, you beautiful Ichabod Crane. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> what? what? That's, That's so sweet. sweet. <laughs> Money wins. Here's to us. Did he increase the price? Or just... I think 25 was the final offer. Or he walked away. Man. Oh, my goodness. Show's such an experience. It is. It just, it's funny, it's stressful, it's cringe, it's... It's mostly just tense. cringy. It's mostly just cringy. We laugh too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, occasionally. Mm -hmm. But we also laugh because of it's... The I, fact that it's cringy. I know. It's I, a nervous I, laughter. Yeah, I, and I, I love that. I love that a show... Like, I, not many shows can do that to me. Not like yeah. that. <laughs> not like that. <laughs> I cringe a lot in the office. I'd laugh more than I cringe in the office, but I, I also en I, I enjoy cringe humor. I, this is not cringe humor sometimes. This, this is, is just, cringe drama. Yeah. Cringe drama is an entirely different animal. Yeah. Why couldn't this dad be dad? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love that. that was so funny. So funny. <laughs> oh man. So Roman just has like this thing where like he just gets turned on at things that are not allowed. That's why like the first time we ever saw him get off was getting his new office and overlooking the city in his office. Right? Yeah. Like, oh, man, if someone walked in right mm -hmm. now, there'd be problems. You're jacking off at work. Yeah. yeah. But he's, like, just needing something wrong to kind of get him going, I guess. That's his second Homelander thing that he's done. First being the... I get kind of with Jerry. And Jerry gets off on it a bit, too, I think, you know? I think so. What did he, what did he say? Got her old girl juices going or something like that? Got her old girl juices flowing. Yeah. yeah. And the fact that they could just be like, oh, I jacked up the know. bathroom last night. Even as a yeah. joke, that's sick. Yeah. <laughs> it, it really does it's sound like, like just, just like a little could, tease for He can him. become invulnerable yeah. to everything when he does that. It just yeah. sounds like some bullshit he would yeah. say, too. Yeah, it's hiding in plain sight. I wonder how much of the other shit that he has said that we have passed off as jokes has been real. Mm. Just because we're like, oh, man, Roman, sure. you're fucking weird. And you know what's crazy? 
that Kendall pulled it off. Kendall shit the bed, <laughs> but saved the deal. Yeah, I know. He, he literally did. shit the bed, but saved the deal. Talking to Naomi and them having, like, kind of like a real moment, I guess, right? Like, it, actually, It was like, the most vulnerable and real conversation that entire weekend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We, I mean, we get to see the, the political... <laughs> Uh, Secretary of State conversation. Oh, yeah. When they were drunk on porn. <laughs> but yeah, what we saw of that was them like just being two people vulnerable and, you know, both kind of sharing their weakness. Yeah. I love that that's what convinced that other guy. Yeah, right. Because he was a no, right? He was a hard oh, no. Oh, I'm st- <laughs> Secretary of State. Mm-hmm. And I said, yes for me. Yeah. People will do so much against their principles for a little bit of power. Or. A possible promise of a little bit of power. Sure. That dinner was so oh. awkward. I hated it so much. And then Shiv being like, oh, can you just tell him it's me? And then that just turned into a, you know what, maybe we should uh, let you guys yeah. talk this out. And now I, she's fucked it. And then the fact that... Everybody's back in play. Well, yeah. But I think they were already all back in play before. Me too, but now but like, it's that for should, sure. That should now tell it her. feels like it. Now she feels like it's her fault, though. Yeah, but that should tell her something where it's like the deal came down and it was like dad accepts a deal. There's no Tom as ATN manager or whatever. That's done. Here's how yeah. much money there's going to be. Done. Make her the successor. And he's like, no. Yeah. That's that's the point where he backs out. Yeah. Like he still wants to have that kind of control over not just his kids, but extension wise. Yes, well, yeah. his kids. But also like. He doesn't like putting in the leadership yeah. and everything. He doesn't like to be told what to do. It, well, I think it, I guess so, but I feel like if he does that, he loses the carrot he can dangle in front of people sure. to make them do what he wants. Yeah, he can get Shiv to quit working sure. with that president senator dude mm-hmm. because of this yeah. job, right? Mm-hmm. And now she doesn't have that job anymore because she came to this because she thought she was going to be the, the successor, you know? Yep. And now, what's going to happen? I feel like Kendall's go- it is going to come from behind. I feel like Ro- Roman has a lot of room to grow. I don't think Shiv's out of it. I just think that he just doesn't want to make the decision now because he-, he wants it to be him. I think she was in the front, and he didn't want to have his hand forced. Like it was a it was a power move for them. It's like we'll give you everything that you want if. If we get to tell you what to do once. And he was like, no. Yeah. You don't get to tell me what to do. Not not even once about this thing that I was going to do anyway. Mm-hmm. Probably, you yeah. know. That's why he's Logan Roy. Yep. And that's why his kids hate him. Tom really needs... He, he, he can play his part. <laughs> he can. <laughs> but he's still just... The man needs some positive reinforcement once in a while. He gets it. From who? Gregory. <laughs> what is that? He's going by Gregory now. Gregory. Gregory, Gregory yeah. gives him positive reinforcement. He, well, <laughs> he does. He does. It's like, like him and Shiv in the hall, right? Yeah. That's your thing in it. Where, like, once we got Shiv feeling yeah. better... Then she was done that. talking. Yeah. yeah. I mean, even just their, the first lines they had in the episode where he came up to her and said, Hey, how was your trip? Who did you see? Like, he knows that she goes off from their marriage... I, I just wonder if that, like, who did, like, if there was, like, any type of, like, a hint of jealousy in there, too, because that's also something that's going to push him off of his foundation. We mm-hmm. know from last episode how oh, much yeah. that it bugs him. That was a big foundation to drop off. Mm-hmm. Especially with Gregory. Yeah. His probably closest friend. So they had no idea that Naomi would be there. So Kendall pulling that off, there was no way any of that was planned. I was just wondering why the, you know, come an hour late thing you know that they did yeah i was just trying to think like maybe they're trying to like set kendall up to do something like that if they knew in fact that one of these people had a problem with drugs and he was going to like you know it might have been a plan from logan but well also, that kind of crashed well i mean it could have this could have been the plan because they yeah. said when you come in like don't shy away from where you've been yeah yeah right make sure it's known so i don't but i don't i didn't really sense where he'd been like I didn't get that as being a thing but I mean I can see but Logan was so upset that Naomi like was an uh, a a factor that he didn't prepare for right or that he wasn't warned about would have been nice if someone told me you know so you can't have planned for this it feels like Kendall just kind of did what he could was it Naomi it wasn't Naomi Naomi flew in nice surprise was it Naomi I think so I thought so Am, am I wrong 
I thought it was another name. Naomi. Oh, from it's flown in from Marin. Marin, Marin from Marin. Oh, okay. Marin. Yeah. Okay. Like, and that's the one that he was upset like. It'll be fucking if I had, you know, some notice or something yeah. like that. So it can't have been any part of the plan, but. And so then the reason that just... she was so against it too was the story she told about mm -hmm. the tabloids and stuff, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. How damaging it was for her. Yeah, and might contribute to her non sobriety. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure the Kindle mm -hmm. play exactly that. I think it could just I, be like Kindle is, uh, like people know about his struggles. That type I think of thing, I think him being like late separation. and and saying like yeah I'm in I was in recovery, mm -hmm. you know that kind of thing. I think that's a, a show that yes he does have a problem, mm -hmm. but he's taking care of it. You know, it's it's yeah. uh, we're making moves in a positive direction and not trying to conceal it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's a way of presenting like you're you're being open and forthcoming. Mm -hmm. While also concealing your real dark secrets behind the veil, you know, admit the thing that they can prove, but don't admit the thing that they can't. I guess, yeah. Hell of an episode, hell of a show. It just, it exhausts me. It is exhausting. <laughs> but I, 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 don't I, I like being exhausted by shows. This episode was not as bad for me, yeah, as as previous episodes have been, and I I, I think it's because I was holding it to the same standard as. Uh, Seven Fishes from the Bear. Oh, from the Bear. Sure. That was a lot more yeah. awkward and yeah. tense and mm -hmm. cringe for me. But relatable. This isn't super relatable. It's not super relatable, yeah. no. Like, whenever they're like, oh, and that's like, what makes I it get billions of dollars. What will I do next? Yeah. I'm just thinking about all the things I would do with billions of dollars. I, just, I, can, I would run out. I would die before I ran out of ideas of what to do. There's a point where I was like, man, I can't imagine having the money. Yeah. I remember being a kid, like, oh, man, I need get older. I'm going to have a helicopter. Yeah, like, sure. At this point, I'm like, I can't imagine having enough money to have a helicopter. <laughs> you know, like, let alone like everything, drivers, pilots, all yeah, this other stuff I mean, to like work to, for you. Yeah, just to just to have a helicopter on call, mm -hmm. twenty four seven. Like, this is crazy. Yeah, owner operators, sure, they're loaded. They've spent a lot of money on it. They, mm -hmm. you know, they own their plane or they're making payments on it. They have a hangar. You know, they've. They've done all that stuff, but it's not as much as paying like an entire crew of people just to carry your luggage to the helicopter that you're then going to go in yeah. anytime you want yeah. and fly wherever you want, and it's all just taken care of. Sure. It's just, not going through customs, not going through airport security or anything like that. Yeah. Just. But they're still so unhappy. <laughs> I know. Well, I know. Money doesn't buy happiness, but it doesn't. you know what? You also... It can just die if you don't have it. <laughs> it does make life easier in some respects, uh -huh, but sure. it also increases the yeah. difficulty in others. Yeah. I just Like, it just changes the priority scale. Just the lack of imagination is what got me. Like, like, what get, will you do? What do you mean, what will you do? <laughs> can, like, I can get more Buy a hundred Audis and wrap them around. I can buy more cards. Pokemon cards. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> buy all of the most rare cards of every but card collecting game. But then I have them all game. and it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, but then you can show them to people and charge them money for seeing it. <laughs> charge them money yeah. for seeing it. Yeah, you have like the one yes. ring, you have that fucking yes. Charizard. Yeah, dude. You have you like just... all the most rare cards from all the yeah. card trading games Dude, you can just go to like, I would go to Pokemon conventions and start giving out the best shit ever. I'd be like yeah. Johnny fucking Appleseed oh. with Pokemon cards. And then I just go get, I go get more because I got billions, you know? Like, think of the joy you spread. And that's not just Pokemon. You can do that with everything. But then you're, like, buying happiness. Yes! That's what I do! And giving it away. Guys, thank you so much for watching Succession with us. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's episode. And if you want to see more right now, check out blindweb.com. Up to four weeks early access. It's over there. It really is. It, it's just a button click away. That look frozen. No.